Yeah, there, it's recording, finally. <laughs> it always takes an extra point eight seconds for it to flip over and say that it's got one second going. Hello, I am Katana, the lightning cat. In my previous video, <coughs> on the subject of overpopulation being an actual crisis, I talked about one of the symptoms. And now I'm going to talk about war. How it is a natural counterballast to the overpopulation crisis. Now it is an advanced uh, symptom far beyond that of simple aggression between males and females of a species <clears throat> it's at the critical point well one of a few critical points where population is at least mass subconsciously aware that it is overpopulated and it is a crisis and it needs to be countered thus the population becomes highly aggressive and goes to war. Now, just take a moment and look back, reflect on the documented truth that there have been multiple world wars. I do not know how to quantify or even count how many civil wars have been fought globally at least and <laughs> then there's um, <clears throat> minor well you might call them minor wars and minor engagements but it's still one of the advanced progressions of aggression that develops within a population that is facing an overpopulation crisis. So war is a natural counter ballast to thin the herd as it were because there's too many people and they've strained all of their resources and they can't seem to maintain a balance between their population size and the amount of available resources to contribute to the support of that population. Think of it like, well, like those old school um, the pyramid diagrams for the nutrition pyramid yeah that thing at the bottom you have your food that supports your population and your population has to be constrained to a much smaller size because each individual will consume a massive well, proportionately massive amount of food. Not just over their lifetime, but even in the short span of a month or a week. Just think of how much grain, how many individual stocks of grain it takes, the size of whatever square meters it takes to grow to make into a single loaf of bread and one person can eat two loaves of bread a day now you can't get all your nutritional supplements from bread but just for the sake of this thought exercise Yeah, this, this leads into another thing. But because, uh, because you can't 
have infinite room to plant infinite vegetables and fruits and grow infinite livestock you cannot maintain infinite population growth and as of currently in 2020 humanity is learning that you cannot sustain infinite growth of anything only theoretically in mathematics can you sustain that not in practice so right now <clears throat> you're seeing some proof of what I'm saying and uh, most wars are they start out over yeah we need more land yeah we gotta grow more food for our population we, we've got a lot of people And if you take away all the, the politics and the lies and go back however many thousands of years you want to go back through history, if you were able to see the truth, it's always, we need more land to grow more food. We have a lot of people. Every war can be quantified as such. up until about a few hundred years ago hey, even the overthrow of some French uh, monarchs it was it was about the population not having enough food and the rich fuckers in the um, <laughs> holding onto the crown <laughs> the so-called kings and queens of the time who were beheaded by a guillotine they were holding on to all the food. And that's where we get um, stories uh, such as, uh, what was it? What was it? It was a uh, fucking uh, Three Musketeers. That's about the time, the same time, about the same area that that story came out. But it was all about, you know, the, the general populace not having enough food or getting rotten food while the rich kings and queens ate whatever the fuck they wanted and threw the scraps at the peasants. Well, now the same thing's happening in America and you're about to have a civil war over that. Because all the rich fuckers are taking what they want and all the people who have worked and supported the so-called economy you're all about to go to war with the rich fuckers so it's a natural way of population control because a lot of people on both sides always die because there's too many mouths to feed they're consuming too many resources your planet's only so big you only have so much room on the surface you cannot maintain infinite population growth you have to exercise some self-control and I'm not gonna point at examples that I've personally witnessed of uh, people who have no self-control Suffice to say, that if you don't have self-control, well, the instinctive program that's written into every species DNA is going to take control over you and leads to the development of aggression, which will either kill someone else so that you can have more food or kill you because you don't have enough strength to kill them. That's how it works at an instinctive, genetically programmed level. No one is immune to it. it it's very cut and dry. It, it's, it's unforgiving because it doesn't care. That's the truth of it. it the system at the genetic level that dictates 
population control in the event that you do not consciously maintain your self-control to keep your population at a decent equilibrium with your environment's ability to maintain food for you is a very harsh and unforgiving thing. Hence the term, no one fucks with mother nature. And that summarizes and concludes this video regarding the, the psychology and the, the the next symptom, as it were, of overpopulation crisis being war and how it is completely natural. There's buttons, there's a like and a dislike. Click whichever one you agree with. There's a there's a button to subscribe, there's a button to turn on notifications. There's links in the description so that you can How do I want to word this? You know what? I'll keep going with this one. You can tell me, shut up, take my money, do something stupid while you're drunk that I can laugh at instead of presenting this bullshit that annoys and aggravates me. Oh, yeah, and until next time, fuck off.